The next tackle we're going to talk about is angle tackle. It's probably the most pre prevalent tackle that happens in football, and it happens in all positions. The base fundamentals of the body posture, the mechanics of head, head and eyes up, face up, are the same. Accelerating feet are the same, and arm thrusts are the same. It's just the angle that the tackler is taking at the man with the football is different. Frontal tackles do happen, but the most prevalent one is an angle tackle. It's when a, when a defender attacks the ball carrier from a different angle. Let's go ahead and bring Jason and Bobby Buffy into the picture here. And we always start talking about tackling because of safety, and you should be able to do it without a helmet. We have a shield pad made at the, by Gilman. It, it can be made by anybody, and it has the girth of a real player or a uh, position player with arms. We're going to keep that pad squared up. Jason's going to step up and get fingertip the part. He's going to start on the right side of the offensive player, and it's the same concept. Same leg, same shoulder. He only wants to do the first initially with one step. So he'll take one step, same leg, same shoulder. The key is the clamp on the back side. What happens on an angle tackle more than not, the timing of the lick will cause, the timing of the blow will cause the defender to get in front and he won't keep his back shoulder or near shoulder for leverage and he'll lose his clamp. And we'll, we'll go ahead and step through here and see if we can see the clamp. On command, let's get, hey, same starting position, good football position, weight on the inside balls, your feet, no fall step, good tilt. One of the keys is this, shoulders over knees, knees over toes. That's a good way to put it. Shoulders over knees, knees over toes. Face back, bull neck, head and eyes up. We'll go ahead and step. We'll take the two steps through it, sit, hit. Boom, boom, there's the follow through. Very, very good. Let's